Hello future Uber drivers and future Lyft drivers. Today we are going to be making a short video showing you how to pick up and drop off people at the uh, McCarran International Airport here in Las Vegas, Nevada. There are two terminals here in the, at, at the airport, Terminal 1 and Terminal uh, 3. So uh, you will see some printed letters on the lane here. This road is going to be divided um, forward ahead in, into two. So uh, the left um, lanes are going to Terminal 3 and the right lanes are going to Terminal 1. So let's go first to Terminal 1 to do a drop-off. If you see the printed letter right here, Terminal 1, T1 on the, on the road, printed. So we go there. Just uh, notice and be careful um, because further down, the road is going to be divided in two again. And then again, the right side of the, uh, of the road will, uh, will lead you to the departure lane and the uh, left side of the road will lead you to the parking garage of terminal one where the uh, pickup occurred but in this case we are just dropping off so we are heading to the departing uh, line you see to the right side here Allegiant and Avello and Southern Airways then is Spirit Airlines so we're gonna pretend we are dropping off someone at the Spirit Gate, okay? So we just pull to the right side of the road here, to the very right lane here. It is okay to drop off on any lane, but not at the very left one, which is the one of uh, through traffic. All the rest are good to drop off. So we drop off here and we continue. So this is how to how how do you drop off your future customer here at Terminal One. Now we will go back again to the same road. You could just keep in mind this uh this is a just one way road here at the airport. So uh, if you miss any turn, it's gonna be very inconvenient for you because you're gonna be forced to loop around in order to get back to the original position like uh, we were when we started this video at the corner of Tropicana and Paradise. So we're going back there just to go to the parking garage terminal one where the pickup occurred just to simulate we are picking, uh, we are picking up uh, a customer there. So let's go. divided again here one way is going to the freeway and this one is the one that is returning to both terminal and also to Tropicana Avenue that's why it is kind of a difficult or just tricky for for beginners here um, either dropping up or picking up at either of the terminal they have here, terminal one or terminal three, it's gonna be the same, always a road divided suddenly. So that's the point. If you just miss a turn, it's gonna be very frustrated and inconvenient. So that's the purpose of this video to clarify you on how to take the proper turn and don't miss out. Tropicana Back to 
Terminal 1, but this time we are gonna pick up someone, so we're gonna move to the right lanes because are the ones that are going to Terminal 1. And once the road divided for the first time, we're gonna keep the left side of the road. And right after uh, this uh, fork here. I mean, uh, right after the, the road divided for the first time here. You see printer letter T3, if you keep left, you're gonna end in Terminal 3, so we wanna go Terminal 1, and here we go. You see, printer letter on the road after the first uh, division of the road, T1. This time we're gonna keep the, the left side because it's the one that is going to the parking garage where the pickup occurred. signs said passenger pickup right here another sign there two signs passenger pickup and then you see we're taking the left uh, side of the road and now we are heading to the way that is leading to the valet parking garage so be careful here it's very tricky you see let's follow the sign but it's gonna be this way just review the video because this is require uh, it's gonna require a lot of practice to you uh, mean control your nerve and uh, don't miss any turn so the entrance as you see is gonna say valid so you enter here Parking garage, first entrance. This is gonna be the second level. What you're gonna see on your app once uh, once a, a customer um, requests you to pick him up here on Terminal One is gonna say the app is gonna say pick up your passenger Terminal One level two. So this is the way to get to Terminal One level two. Let's review the video practice by yourself at your own pace before even you decide to open your account see there are several rows with uh, parking spaces you need to be parked on one of those parking spaces in order to pick up uh, your customers otherwise if you don't do it and you pick up your customer out of the, the parking spaces you're gonna be citated okay so let's see we parked on 87 so once you got here, you just test your, your customer and let him know that uh, you are parked on uh, parking space uh, number seven. So you will write, I have arrived, uh, uh, and then uh, parking space, stall A7, okay? So that's the way you pick up at Terminal 1. So let's go back to the road to then go to Terminal three you are exiting the parking garage terminal one now you're gonna head in back to to the original position where we started this video so corner of Tropicana and Paradise See, you stop here and check the mirror because sometimes there's cars coming down the hill and that's the only way you could be sure there's nothing coming down. Here exiting, when you are exiting the Terminal 1 parking garage, 
and you want to go to uh, Tropicana, just uh, you need to move to the left side here, and it's going to be a short distance. There's a lot of traffic sometimes, so be careful. If you miss this turn, just keep going and then uh, take the next one, which is going to be just like uh, 100 feet from this one. back to Tropicana to this time going to do the same procedure picking up and drop off but this time at terminal 3 Terminal 3 to drop off a customer. This time we're gonna keep the left side of the road. You can see the blue signs telling you the two left line. One is going to the 215 freeway and the uh, other one to Terminal 3. So we want to move to the one that is signed to go to Terminal 3. You see there's also printed letters on the road as well letting you know if it's uh, to the freeway or if it's to uh, Terminal 3. So now we are in the proper one, you see Terminal 3 on the road, okay? We keep going this time to drop off the customer on Terminal 3, departure line. You can see another sign that says Terminal 3, Fly Path Avenue. just a little confusing a few feet ahead because the road is going to be divided again in two ways so if you want to just drop off you need to keep the right side of the road okay because the left side is going to be to the parking garage this time terminal 3 where the uh, pickup occur but we want to go just to drop off so we're gonna you see it's gonna be divided road right here you, you just take the right uh, the right lanes because are the ones that are going to the departure flights right. you see 25 limited speed again it's gonna decrease to 15 and then to 10 and that's the departure the departure line here in terminal 3 there's a bunch of airlines that's what I'm I recommend to you to just memorize the few that are at Terminal 1 because it's going to be easier for you to find out uh, which airline and your, your customer is going to be flying with in case he couldn't find it in, in, in his app. So keep going slowly. to pretend we are gonna drop off a customer here at uh, Air Canada airline so yes 
Okay, the closer we can to the departure line. And the closer to the gate too. So it's gonna be right here. So you stop safely, say goodbye to your customers. And then we are ready to go back to the road where we have started this video. I mean back again to Tropicana and Paradise to do this time a pickup at Terminal 3 which is gonna be a Terminal 3 um, level uh, V which is uh, the valet uh, level as well but in this case this time what, it, what you're gonna see on your app is gonna say, okay, go to pick up a customer, Terminal 3, Level V. By the way, as I mentioned before, this, uh, this video is intended to be more useful for uh, those ones who are willing to start driving for Uber or Lyft, okay? So uh, if you ha uh, haven't opened your account yet, don't do it until you get training, okay? Come this way, review the video, and practice yourself. Then, open your account. And uh, don't open both at the same time, because you're gonna miss out on the promotions either uh, platform are offering, are offering to new, new drivers. For instance, Leaf is, is giving a, a good uh, promotion right now to new drivers. If you uh, do like uh, 200 uh, rides in a period of time of 30 days out, right after you open your account, you will get a guarantee uh, amount of money, which is uh, right now is uh, $2,900, okay? Plus, uh, if you use uh, somebody's uh, referral link, that person is gonna uh, receive a kind of reward and it's gonna be right now for for leave it's gonna be eight hundred dollar so being that said I'm gonna leave my my link in the bio in the bio below so that if you decide to use it mine what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna share my reward with you 50 50 so you're gonna get an extra four hundred dollar just for being used uh, using my link same way, Uber is given a, a promotion as well for new new drivers, but it's a little less. It's like a 500, and also um, less uh, ride. You will be required to 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 make a less ride with Uber in the uh, in the first month, in the in the first um, 30 days after you open um, an account with Uber. They're gonna give you, I mean, they're gonna give to the person who refer. $500, okay? And they're gonna uh, guarantee you as well uh, some money and they're gonna give you a bonus as well. I'm not sure what it is right now, but it's uh, basically it's working the same. A little less, but a little less rise to, to do as well. And in both cases, if you use uh, if you use my links, I'm gonna share whatever they gave me with you, 50-50. So that's why you it's better for you not open your account at the same time because uh, if you go, let's say, for, for Lyft and you work the, your first uh, 30 days with Uber, I mean with Lyft, you will be uh, required to make like a 200 ride. That's an average of 10 rides per day during 20 days. So you will have an entire month to accomplish that goal. Right after that, you could jump to the uh, promo, uh, Uber promotion and do the same. It's gonna be just 100 rides, which you're gonna be able to do it in just 10 days. And you will be collecting money from the promotion they're, they're giving you, and plus uh, the, the promotion they're giving me, uh, uh, they're giving to me, because you've been using my link, and uh, the promotion that I'm gonna share with you as well. So you're gonna be making extra money in your first month for doing less right than everybody else. That's gonna be a good deal. And I'm gonna thank you for that too. So right now we're going back to Terminal 3 this time, as I said, to pick up some. You will see all the details pretty soon. Here we go. 
go back again to terminal 3 this time to, to pick up a customer same way left uh, left side of the road then we will move to the terminal 3 lane which is this one right here and just uh, we just keep it side because we are going to pick up here you see it. the road is going to be divided right here you keep the left because we are going to go to the parking garage then this middle one here you see it divided again but this time you just follow the video you're going to the valet uh, level of the parking garage terminal 3 which is right this one if you see it though blue sign see there's uh, several entrance here that's why if you miss your turn you're gonna be forced to loop around that's gonna be very inconvenient and it's gonna make you lose time a lot of time it's gonna be kind of annoying so you better review the video practice yourself a lot before starting that's my advice to you that will help you a lot so you see, if you see here at Terminal 3, there's a couple uh, row as well, like uh, it was at uh, Terminal 1. So same procedure. You just find a parking space, just park. And once you are parked, uh, notify your customer, okay? Test skin and uh, sending a test and uh, saying that you have arrived and you are part on the parking space X16 in this case. So this is the way you drop off and pick up at the terminal one and three at the Macar International Airport of Las Vegas, Nevada. So I hope this video will help you a lot. And uh, if you like, please like and subscribe because I'm, I'm going to be making uh, future videos relative to this topic just to help you out. So thank you for watching. All the very best. God bless you.